Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Brick Time! This here is the Lego Friends City Pet Centre and this came out in 2018 and I thought it would be perfect to renovate to fit into the main street. This is like a vet and a pet shop all in one. So let's take a look with how I have rebuilt it. Here it is, so it looks similar to the original as I love doing that. I like keeping the original look of the building when I'm rebuilding it. I've popped these planter pots at the front to keep in with the main street theme and I have made it 18 studs wide so I have made it a little bit narrower and I popped the awnings in there and I loved that footprint sign so I wanted to keep that in there also. I decided to make the build um, 10 bricks deep. I thought that looked the best and I really wanted to add those corner windows in. I thought that gave it the special feel of that particular set. I really liked the look of the awnings and I really wanted to keep that in to keep that theme going and this is how I attach them. I used up as many of the parts that I could from the set and that's how I attached the little paw print sign. I really liked that sign and I love that it's that dark pink colour there. So I'll just pop these back on and wait, no, it needs to go in here, that's it. Had a little trouble with that, how to work out how to use everything up. So that's how that looks like and this is what it looks like on this side and I used that big panel up from the set. So let's turn it around and see inside. I try to use up as many of the accessories that came with the set. So this is how I have built it. And there's lots of pets down here and accessories for sale. I've got a little doggy magazine there. There's the panel with the stickers from the original. And I made this little treat dispenser right near the cash register so people buy that on their way out. I really loved the hamster house from the original set so I kept that. And I see Cat Lady's made an appearance and she is trying to buy another cat. There are lots of pet foods here and pet accessories. I wanted to put in as much as I could in this teeny tiny shop and everything's just fallen out. Don't worry, I'll tidy it up later. So this is a modular style building as I've tiled the top of the layer there so it's easy to remove the second floor. I've also added the aquarium here so it's a support for the top floor. I thought it looked good being there and as it's transparent. Let's pop Liam in here because he's gone shopping for his pet rat. He's got some pet food. The second floor now. I really liked the look of this with the arches and the little scrolls and how they did the windows there. So I thought I will do that too. But see here, they didn't um, extend the wall there. But I have, I've made it into a full build. So let's take a look at the second floor. And this is how I have built it. I love the look of the masonry bricks along the bottom layer. I added these dots tiles just for some extra details at the front there. I added the awning here with the sloped bricks. And it is eight studs deep. So it fits perfectly with all the main street modulars. And the inside, this is the vet level. This is the vet here. She works and lives here. We've got a little puppy dog getting weighed and snowballs here getting a checkup too. So once again, I used up everything that came with the set. I like doing that. So we've got the little vet part there and here is the doggy grooming parlor. So the poodle's going to get a nice haircut and get some perfume sprayed. I also made this support and it's got all the vet utensils and medicines on there because I have made a third floor for this apartment. So that's how that looks like. 
And now it needs to go on top of the pet centre. Let's pop it up here. I love that you can still see the masonry brick on that level. Because in the original you couldn't really. That looks good with just the two levels. And I didn't pop a plant there because I've got that little birdhouse from the original set. So this is looking good. It can be just a pet centre and vet. You don't need to do the third floor. But I have, and let's take a look at the third floor. I have made it look like the second floor. I really liked the look of it. I wanted to keep it all looking the same. Added that awning there. And I used up those curved bricks there at the top. It kept the look of the original. As I, I thought I really liked that. And it looked good. So once again, eight studs deep. So it all fits in nicely. And this is the little apartment for the vet. Oh, she's got Bruni in her apartment. I had to fit him in. He is just too cute. Let's move him out of there and take a look at the teeny tiny bathroom. That sticker's from Andrea's house. Made a little basin. There's a toilet and shower. Every apartment has to have a bathroom in my city. And we've got this couch here that also turns into a bed as it I just didn't have enough room to make a bedroom in this. I thought that nah, I'll keep it all open. I've made these little shelves to put trinkets and books on. Little tiny kitchen with everything you need. And some space saving ideas over here. More of the pink shelving for more kitchen accessories and food. And what is she eating? Bacon, eggs and a sausage for breakfast. Yum! Okay, we will pop the vet in here. She's At least she doesn't have to go far to go home. Time to pop this on top of the pet centre. Let's see what it looks like as a three-storey build. This is looking so good as a three story. We've got a little pet centre, a vet and an apartment all in the one building. Nice space saving idea. Fits perfect for the main street. Little Maya's come along with her dad to have a look at a new pet. The vet is doing some checks on Snowball and she's not looking too happy. And it looks like Cat Lady has found two new cats. One of them's mine. And this is how it looks amongst the other buildings on my main street. So it fits in perfectly. My version of the Heart Lake City Pet Centre. This is a great way to use up older sets that you may have lying around and you can fit it into your main street or into your Lego city. I love rebuilding the older sets and giving them a new life and making them fit into my new street. So I hope I have given you some ideas on how you can make a vet or pet center or rebuild your previous one. So everyone, get your bricks out, get building and get creative.